A lot of people are familiar with seeing the flipper zero around, and a lot of people know that you can clone cards with it. So this is a standard card that you would have to badge into an office door. This isn't going to work with all cards as simply as this, but these are still cards that are in use in a lot of places. You can just come RFID, read, and then touch it to the card. It'll read, it'll save it, and then from here you can save it, play it back, whatever you want. What people don't know as much is that you can buy something that can do the same thing. You can order these for about $10 from China, maybe about $20 from Amazon, and you can read cards with them. So we can see here we got to read. We can then take a fob and we can write it. We can open doors with this and uh, allow us access to all kinds of places. So people get a lot of concern going on about the flipper, not realizing how accessible it is to do stuff like that. If we're doing this on an engagement, we're more than likely using something like the Proxmark or the iCopy that allows us to crack much more complex cards and it's more of a professional tool. So don't be alarmed just because a flipper can copy a card because it's actually a lot easier than obtaining a flipper. Just uh, be aware that it is possible and take precautions as needed.